Hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello, good evening. Hi, how are you doing, Jose Miguel? I'm fine. Great. great. <laughs> okay, great. Let's see. Okay. I see that you are really punctual, guys. So congratulations and thank you very much for your punctuality. That's a very good point. Um, <clears throat> a very good quality. Okay. Okay, guys, are you ready to start? We're going to start a class by doing some feedback, okay? Our feedback is about what we were studying. Remember the adverbial clauses? Do you remember? Okay, when do we use the adverbial clauses? When do we use the adverbial clauses? Well, the usage is that we want to place in time the action, okay? We can place in time the action and we can reduce those adverbial clauses because they have an adverbial clause that doesn't have the meaning, the complete, mean, complete meaning. They need the independent clause that complement the meaning or complete the meaning, okay? So if we think about the uh, I mean the adverbs. We are going to think about a process, right? In a process, we set the steps: first, second, after, then. Okay. So if we think about that, about the adverbs, we are going to see that there are a lot of adverbs. It's not only this little list, it's not only this short list, okay? Maybe we are going to have <laughs> kind of an, an infinite because we can transform adjectives into adverbs. We can, we have prepositions of time. We have prepositions of place that they can become an adverb too. So mm, there are a lot of adverbs. What do we have to check is that in our adverbial clause, 
it's going to start with an adverb of time, right? Because this is what we are studying. Like when, while, before, after, yet, still, and already, usually. Okay, these are the ones that we mm, needed to learn. Okay, needed to learn. Bien, entonces voy a pasar a español solo un ratito mientras tomo la asistencia, pero quiero eh, eh, hacerles notar, ¿verdad? Que debemos ir trabajando en, eh, en advance, o sea, si nos podemos adelantar en las, en las tareas para que podamos ir completando, ¿verdad? Para ir completando. Bien. <clears throat> Please, everybody turn your camera on and when I call your name, you say present. Okay, then. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. I see people are tired. Yeah. It's Monday. It's, I know. It's Monday. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it in the air. <laughs> yes. Vaya, entonces vamos a hacerlo así, vaya, para que nos pongamos más engaged. Vamos a ver, cada vez que yo diga su nombre, ustedes me van a decir un adverbio de tiempo, ¿ok? Adverbs of time, please. Vamos a ver. Regresamos con la primera de la lista, Ana Lorena Lovatoreana. Oh. Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. I thought... Although, although, although. Mm -hmm. okay, although, mm, all right, mm -hmm. uh, even though it is not of time, but okay, mm -hmm. let's look, just one second, okay, I'm back in the list, vamos a ver, Blanca, Jennifer Torres de Martinez, she wasn't in yet, right, vamos a cambiar la vista para poder verlos a todos, and continue. Ready, guys, ready. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Tonight, tonight, tonight. All right, good. Uh -huh. That's a very good adverb. Uh -huh. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Okay, can you tell me an adverb of time? Un adverbio de tiempo, adverb um, of time. Um, tomorrow. Yes. All right, good. Uh -huh. Acuérdense que los de time puede ser de frequency también, ¿verdad? You Liz Torres Torres. Mr. Ulises. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro.
Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva? And seldom. Seldom, okay. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla? Always. Great. Josman Atilio Serrano? Never. Great. Karen, Karen Lisset Sanchez Castro? After. Good. Nancy Margarita Morán Morán? Finally. Great. Ay, sonó así como finally me mencionó, ¿verdad? You mentioned me. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Good evening. When? Great. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Now. Good. Raúl Ernesto González. After. Ok, aunque okay, after ya lo habíamos dicho, pero está bien, ok. Raúl Ernesto González dijo after, ¿verdad? Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Sometimes. Good. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Which. Ok, solo que which es más de manner, ¿verdad? Bueno. Ah, no. Which es... Um, Eh, como... it, could, it could be while. Okay, better, better. Because which is with those that who, that, uh, then it's a different kind of adverb, okay? Uh, but yeah, thank you. Jose Miguel Torres Hernandez. Present um, early. Early, okay, good, good. You're always early here. Nice, Jose Miguel. Okay, people, so... Let's continue with the new topic. Remember that today we have a new topic because we are starting unit two, yay! Unit two, it's going to be kind of long because unit two is going to be like the double of um, content, but we are going to try to do our best this is going to be easy, so it's going to take some time to get some uh, concepts. First of all, I want to start with a discussion because today we have this topic. This topic is conversation, okay? This day, today, tonight, we are going to have just a conversation. And we want to talk about the testing, that part of the process that involves the a test of products in the different strategies, okay? So you can use any strategy to try the product, to do your tests or research about the product. And we can see that the product has different aspects to be researched because it's not only the function is not only the presentation, not only the concept. Mm, there are a lot of aspects related to the product that we want to research and if it is going to be a success if I launch that product. All right, so let's look at the first question for this conversation. We want to start a discussion. In our manuals we have on page, oh, Okay, it moved away. The first question is, have you ever heard a term product testing? Have you ever heard the term product testing? Repeat, have you ever heard the term product testing? Uh-huh. Have you? Product no. testing. Have you ever heard about that? Product testing. Product testing. Uh-huh. When you go to the supermarket and you get into the supermarket, there are people with displays and samples and things that they're saying. Mire, señor, fíjese que estamos dando estas muestras porque el día de hoy estamos probando nuestro producto, que nuestro producto es este, 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 y estas y estas y estas son las características. Vale tanto y ahora precio de introducción se lo tenemos a tal y tal y tal. Have you ever heard about that? Yeah. Ya, yeah, yes. ya me convenció, teacher. <laughs> okay, then there you go. So that's product testing in... 
a, we could say in simple words, okay? Or in action, in action. But that's in Spanish and we want to know the terms in English, okay? <laughs> Así que queremos armar todo eso que nos dicen in English. ¿sí? Because we want to know the strategies. That's only one strategy to test the product. That's only one strategy to give samples. That's only one strategy. There are a lot of strategies, right? Have you, heard, have you ever heard about the strategies of product testing? Do you mind if I ask you some questions about this and this and that product? And they call you, right? Yeah? <laughs> ¿No los han llamado para preguntarles qué opinan acerca de algún producto? Are you watching the TV right now? No. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean. When... <laughs> no, ah. I never received that call. I... Oh, okay, okay. Antes, antes se usaba mucho, ¿verdad? Medio programa, hay cabal en los anuncios. Ring the phone. And then... Uh, excuse me, may I ask you, uh, are you watching the TV right now? Mm. And if you uh, if you answer yes, okay, what program are you watching? Uh -huh. Because they are measuring or they are doing a research about the pautas, right? The commercialization, the uh, advertisement, correct? Okay, that's another way to try the market, okay. Uh, have you ever heard about, about an, uh, another strategy related to product testing? Yes, currently maybe by email, send survey, uh, send this test. Great, surveys, forms, yeah, from Google. And they ask you if you have ever tried that product, what's the product of your preference? If you buy exactly the brand that they are researching for, so yeah, that's another way, service, mm -hmm. online, by email, mm -hmm. okay. Is there any other product testing that you may know? Yeah, for example, Amy, in, the, in front of Tecnologica, and the company gives the, the products to the students. Oh, good, uh -huh. yeah. giving samples. Yes, for example, the buyer. Uh, oh. maybe we, before the the when the pandemic the the buyer gave the new uh, test the new flavors ah uh, yes the new flavors mm, okay it was a new product that mm -hmm. they were uh, okay giving samples but the product was on the market already or wasn't the product on the market ¿Ya estaba el producto en el mercado o no estaba todavía? No, no. no okay, before launching the product, they gave samples. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y cuando ellos dieron esas muestras, think, after giving the samples, did they arrive with some tests or something about? No, no, only give the, no, only give the, the, the new juice, juice. The new choice. For example, yes, mm -hmm. for example, the mango. Yes, we proved before. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. And what did you think about it? Did they give you, I mean, did they give you some samples to you? Uh, yes, the different the flavors. Mm -hmm. And what did you think about that? What was your feedback? Um, I, I like uh, the the mango juice, but uh, I test uh, bananas, but that doesn't like uh, that didn't like that. Ah, okay, banana. Mm -hmm. And and these days, does it exist? No. That's the, okay. The bananas, but the uh, mangoes. The, the mangoes, I I I believe the yes. Oh, okay. It's an enlata. I don't know. It's mm -hmm. okay. Enlata. Canned, canned, canned. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Is there anybody who knows another kind of product testing strategy? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. 
but in my case, I do that, that similar testing with users, with another user. So I, I prove uh, with real user any product that we launch uh, before. So we contact uh, in a different rank of year uh, uh, users and then maybe uh, we do the, the 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 testing online or or physical i don't know how how do you say uh in vivo or <laughs> uh, you physical send. you send mm, maybe yeah or oh, uploading oh no physical test the physical form okay yeah physical test yeah but for example, when when we when before we launch any product, and uh, there are two ways to prove a uh, testing. One is uh, in online that we send a a link to to the to the user, and the other way is contact the person and they come with with the uh with the let me see with the company so okay. in this and you case, give you give them like a uh, a workshop to show them how to work with that software or, or the functions of the software how to use it mm, if the person comes or or if you go to the company that, or the is, potential customer <laughs> It's different because uh, in the test we found uh, the the product is is a uh, is good for the user. For example, if the user doesn't understand the the test or the product that they testing, we need to change uh, in the MVP. Uh, and then uh, prove with another test with an, another user again and again and again. Oh, <laughs> and okay. after that, and after that, uh, we give the uh, 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 a gift card for the time that they give us. Oh, great! So you pay people for the. Yeah. Oh, great. For they to test your product, that's good, a good strategy too, because that's trustable. That is not just any way or random customers. It's a potential customer, mm -hmm. a trustable yeah. and fire. We found, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. We found a uh, user, uh, you say a, a, a word that I forgot. Uh, trustable? Uh, no, another customer, potential yeah. customer, potential customer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but imagine, guys, uh, Raúl works with software, and software in these days is kind of easier because it has different channels to uh, to um, a, to offer them or to sell them. And he says that they provide a link, maybe for a trial period or some or something. Trial period, or I don't know. Uh, tell me, Raúl, is that a trial what? period when you mm -hmm. provide a link for day to try or for day to test the product? Um, mm -hmm. Is it a trial period? I don't understand the 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 trial? last what? period. Ah, trial. Yeah. Period? period of time yeah yeah no. we sent a link with a prototype like similar uh finally the 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 product and they testing in in desktop or in mobile no okay, because great. they are because they are they are different form to formats to, yeah mm -hmm. Okay. okay, great, great. 
it's important and that's a like a two vias right or um it could be like a um, two channels right uh, the message and then you receive the feedback then you send the message and then you receive the feedback. So yes, it's two ways communication. That's a very good thing. That's a very good thing because it's kind of direct. Okay, you engage with the customer. Okay, people. So if we talk about strategies, we think about um, processes that we want to run because maybe they have been tried before in different companies that they uh, are dedicated to uh, doing research, marketing research. Those are um, the companies that are in charge of providing to, to the other companies and specialized or an expertise um research okay specialized processes so let's think let's think about two types of research or um, let's say two types of testing the product because as i said there are strategies but there are processes too uh, the strategies usually are processes and you have to plan the strategy the strategy you have to plan the process so if you have to plan something then you have a development then if you have a development then you need a feedback if you have feedback then you have to present the results and if you have the the present the results then you have to analyze the results right the results and then you are going to make the decision there is no other way so when we product, I mean, when we test a product before launching, it's uh, to look for, um, eliminate or avoid the failures in the product. Because the product, I mean, when, when you are going to launch a product, you have different aspects, okay? What are the aspects of the product that you have to, uh, that you have to, a, let's say, link together. A ver, todos los aspectos del producto que pueden estar ligados en este caso. Veamos, size, presentation, colors, flavors. ¿Qué otra cosa? Color. Colors. Mm -hmm. Size. Sizes. Mm -hmm. Weights. Mm -hmm. Price. Prices. Mm -hmm. What else? There is one thing that is not in the product by, by itself, but it's from the mind of the producer to the mind of the consumer. And it is the concept. The concept. The mm? Performance. The formats. Okay. Mm -hmm. Label labels mm -hmm, and instructions but if we think about the concept the concept of a product for example quality. okay quality but let's think about the concept pensemos acerca del concepto del producto del concepto como describimos nuestro producto como se describe un producto a ver el concepto el concepto incluye las necesidades que va a ir a cumplir ¿Verdad? ¿O qué se supone que este eh, producto va a llenar? Ahí entra eso. ¿Qué más? Entra de qué está hecho. ¿Quién lo hizo? ¿Por qué razón lo hizo ese producto? Ahí viene el concept. ¿Ok? Y usted tiene que probar ese concepto a la par del producto. Porque no puedo tirar el producto sin un concepto. ¿Ok? No voy a tirar... Este lápiz solo por tirar el lápiz, porque ya saben que para eso sirve. No, este lápiz es en a triangle form. Ah, entonces ya le voy poniendo, ¿sí? Ok, para to learn to write. Ah, ok, ya le di una función. Ok, y yo voy a decir, lo hizo una compañía. It was made by a company that uh, it's 
a environment, environmental friendly, okay? Yo no voto árboles para hacer mi lápiz, okay? So this is in the concept and you have to convince people about your concept, about your product, okay? Entonces el concepto sí le puede votar su producto, ¿verdad? El, el concepto puede también rescatar su producto. Entonces son dos cosas, el producto en sí, y el concepto o descripción que usted le dé al cliente de lo que es su producto, ¿verdad? Entonces, we have to make a research about the concept of the product, but also about the product itself, okay? That is why we have a lot of strategies to run when we uh, are testing the product, okay? Bien, en nuestro manual todavía tenemos una pregunta para ver dos tipos de eh, evaluaciones. Two uh, evaluation tests or type, types of tests to evaluate a product. For example, we have the site and handling test. And then we have the use test. Mm. Site and handling test. ¿Qué idea les da eso? What idea do you have when you hear site and Handling, okay, handling, okay, handling, sight, mm, it's nice, mm, wow, attractive. Mm -hmm. What idea do you have when you listen about sight and handling test? Que idea les da, a ver, sight and handling, handling, handling. Hecho a mano. Mm, okay, en well. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's think. Citing handling is a strategy, okay? And it's a type of test. Hmm? What I, do you think this is about? I, uh, I think it's uh, how attractive is the product to the people and handling how practically. For example, uh, the cell phone that you show us is we need something uh, we can use with only one hand, for example, but it looks great, not uh, something ugly or something disgusting to the rest of the people. Very good. And this is about experiences, okay? This is about experiences, how you look at the product, how you perceive the product with your side, okay? If it is attractive, if it is ugly, if it is, mm, well, not good, not bad, economic, okay. Mm, actually, that goes no. into another ergonomic. one. Book. Oh, ergonomic? Okay, that's handling. Yeah, that's handling. I allow you as the producer allow you to test the product by using it okay or but just looking at it okay so you look at it and also you use it uh that's very common for example in the retailers in the retailer stores or in the supermarkets, or in the market. Aunque en el mercado a usted la señora le dice, mire, si no compra no mayuge, señor, vea. O sea, se lo dicen porque usted quiere tocar, quiere saber si está bueno, sí o no. Entonces, that's handling, that's handling. Tocar para saber si está bien. Eh, experimentarlo, ¿verdad? Saber si lo que yo voy a comprar Está manidito, ¿verdad? <laughs> o sea, that's a word from us. Ok, manidito, ¿verdad? Eh, la fruta que no está mayugada, ¿sí? We are going to touch it. Pero también está sight, cómo se mira. Si usted se le queda viendo los productos en el mercado, la señora le va a decir, bueno, ¿y va a comprar o lo viene a mirar, señor? Ok, that's a test. That's a test. Bueno, si usted va al supermercado, usted mira los productos. You look at the products, right? You look at the products, but you can touch them. You can flip them. You can read the instructions. You can feel it if it is soft, if it is good, if it is not good, if it is rough, whatever. Whatever characteristic is, 
you are going to feel it through your sense, okay? Through your senses. So, mm, sight, if it is attractive, you are going to look at it. Yeah, you are going to look at it. Por eso ponen mesas en donde le muestran el producto, ¿sí? That's eh, en realidad la estrategia. Poder verlo, poder sentirlo, tocarlo, manejarlo, usarlo. Okay, that's sight and handling. Okay, eso es cuando el producer hace que el cliente, y de una vez está recibiendo el test o el feedback, ¿verdad? Ay, no, pero es que esto está muy grande, mira, no me queda en la mano, se me sale, o ay, no, es que esto no, esto no, yo creo que no, no lo voy a poder usar, es demasiado avanzado, o ah, no, esto no sirve al tocarlo, ¿verdad? O si no, podemos decir también, ay, no, qué feo esos colores, ay, no, yo pensé que era tal otra cosa, association, right? Entonces, viene el feedback. Esa es una observación directa que hace el que está mostrándole el producto, ¿verdad? Aparte que le está dando el concepto porque él se lo presenta, el concepto, ¿verdad? Le dice, this is a product, ta, 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 ta. Ok. Vamos a ver la otra que dice acá que, que discutamos. The use test. The use test. A ver, ¿qué opinan ustedes de the use test? Have you ever had um, that kind of experience? The use test, use. That is like, uh, for example, in programs of the computer, when you have a, a beta, uh, uh, initial program, with a little, a little bit, I almost how Bugs? How Glitch? Con unas cuantas opciones. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. With a little bit options. Like so, please. Yeah. When that's the, that's the proof, uh, you, uh, you, it's your first contact with the product and you decide with that proof, if you want to uh, buy the the complete product oh okay, you can yeah. decide using the, the product okay and then it comes a premium one right <laughs> there is yeah. the free option and then you have the premium option mm, mm -hmm. or the trial like a here. trial right. okay uh-huh you are able to do just a few of entries or a few of functions okay uh-huh that's the use a test too, okay? If the people liked it, mm -hmm. good. Así como decía Raúl, Raúl was saying something about the testing they do. They make the customer to try it, to use it, okay? And um, let's go to the manual. Well, let's see some uh, concepts first. Ya los platicamos, ahora vamos a ver un poquito acerca de los conceptos y definiciones y vamos a hacer la misma estrategia que hicimos con eh, el SWAT. ¿Se acuerdan, verdad? Definitions, look for keywords, and then we are going to keep our own concept. We're going to see the aspects related to it. And then we are going to try to go to the strategies because today we are starting with the unit two product testing. That's our a topic, main topic for the whole unit. So uh, allow me to take you there. So um, today we are able to start. We are able to start with the uh, product testing because now we know and have an idea what this is. Now we have an idea what this is. What do you see in the picture? What do you see in the picture? It's a measurement. I don't know the, the measurement. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry? 
Metric tape. Okay, good, good. That's a very good uh, definition of it. Okay, different measurements. So it means that none, all the products are the same, even though if they have the same characteristics and they are fulfilling one need, there is going to be something, just something that is going to make your product unique. Okay, and you have to find that aspect. You have to find that aspect. If you don't find it out, then you are going to be just like the other one, and you are not go. I mean, you are not going to uh, take advantage of your um, options or your product by itself, your benefits. Okay, then let's say we want to test the product. This is our unit number two M. The agenda for today is that we made our feedback, just talking about the adverbs of time, then the discussion. We are going, we did, we had the discussion, but now we are going to think about the terms, definitions, and concepts about the product testing processes. And we are going to role play a conversation about these uh, strategies. And then we have some written exercises in the manual and we want to share ideas about product testing and examples after defining everything, okay? So the first topic for unit two is strategies for testing new products. So this means vocabulary, this means vocabulary. And the objective is that one uh, precisely. We want to be able to describe the strategies of product testing. It's not only one strategy, there are a lot of strategies and you can make up another one depending on your product, depending on the service that you offer. But the main goal or the main purpose of product testing is if it is working, right? Is it working? Is it working? Okay, is it working what? Is it working the concept? Is it working the colors? I mean, uh, is it working the product itself? Is it working on the sales, right? So that's what we are going to uh, try to test about our products. So let's begin with what is product testing, okay? What is product testing? Exactly. Product testing is the process of measuring the properties or likely performance of products among a target audience. So it means we are going to receive our feedback from people, our target audience, our market. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we are going to do it in different ways. We have different ways. Let's think about the first one that we have over here. By asking for audience feedback on your product concepts before moving forward with the launch, you can identify success, successful product ideas right off the bat, the bat. This ensures that you commit many, I'm sorry, money and resources to the right projects, All right? Aha, uh -huh. what is product testing, guys? What is product testing? Vamos a las palabras claras, aha, tell me. I have a question. Tell me. What's the meaning of right off the bat? Right off the bat, fuera del huacal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, fuera de la caja puede ser box. Ah, I, I remember that. Okay. I forget it. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay. Uh huh. Right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Um. Oops. Sorry. Here we were. Here we were. Da, 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 da. Okay, and we were saying that the keywords here. ¿Cuáles son las keywords que podemos encontrar que nos definen todo el asunto? Vamos a ver. Uh, measuring. Measuring. Mm -hmm. 
measuring the properties. Okay. Of the products. Mm -hmm. A target audience. Target audience. Okay, there you go. Ahora digámoslo. Product testing is the process of measuring the properties of products in a target audience. Okay, there you go. Vamos a ver acá entonces. Mm, decíamos la vez pasada que hay aspectos dentro de esas definiciones para poder entenderlo. Entonces, ¿qué elementos podemos ver en Product Testing? Tenemos feedback, que viene de una audience. ¿Qué más? Tenemos otro elemento, Product Concepts. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Launch. ¿A dónde lo tenemos? Ah, with a launch. Ok. Uh -huh. no. Right off the bat también es como eh, cuando se, ¿se acuerda de Betty, But Betty Butter? que hace la butter, ok, así como saliendo saliditas del comal también podría ser para nosotros, ok, ah, como saliditas del comal, es decir, eh, ideas eh, con mucho éxito, cabalitas, saliditas del comal, en este caso sería como de masa, ¿verdad? o algo así, ok, ah, vamos a ver, ¿dónde estábamos? Lounge, ¿qué más? Si decimos this ensures that, uh, aquí podríamos hasta sustituirlo como to. Todo esto, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. To commit money and resources. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que está en juego? Money and resources. Those are other elements mm -hmm. and projects. Okay. Veamos por acá entonces que existen diferentes um, maneras de llevar un product testing o de lanzar o hacer o investigar vaya, acerca de un producto, pro, de probar un producto. Lo tenemos con Consumer testing, que sería directamente con el consumer, consumer, perdón, y tenemos el comparative testing, que lo hacemos con dos productos con las mismas características, similarities, ¿verdad? O dos productos similares para que el cliente diga cuál es el que mejor llena sus expectativas, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál tiene una mejor función? Which one of those have a better performance. So we're going to see like likely performance of products, okay? Remember, we are looking for the performance of product if it is okay or if it is wrong. And, or if people like it, I mean, like it, or people don't like it. So consumer testing and comparative testing. Lo puedo hacer con el cliente o lo puedo hacer entre dos productos, okay? Yeah. Vamos a ver entonces. Some vocabulary. Ah, bueno, definamos acá los elementos relacionados en product testing. Uh -huh. A ver, escribámoslos por acá. Ahí en aquel hablábamos de la gente, ¿verdad? Aquí vamos a hablar de products. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Audience feedback. A ver, ¿qué más? Mm, launching. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más? Resource. Money. Exactly. Money. Resources. Resource. Yeah. 
Okay. Y todo proceso, all the processes in business eh, have a cost. And also they have failures. And also we have to correct those failures during the process. Como todo proceso, ¿verdad? So product testing becomes a stage, an inner process, okay? Un sub-process dentro de el gran proceso de product development process. Okay. Vamos a ver entonces. Vamos bien hasta acá, jóvenes. Are we okay so far? Yes, teacher, it's okay. clear. All right. So let's go to the vocabulary we want to achieve today. Sorry, ay, casi no se miran. Yo, bueno, yo. Ustedes lo miran bien. I, I can see. Can or can? <laughs> bueno, can. vamos a ver una cosa. No, mejor lo vamos a poner diferente para que se miren, por lo menos que la teacher lo pueda ir leyendo. Cuidado ahí con los cables. Acabas de jalar eso. <laughs> Okay. Tengo que hacer un ajuste de cable. Ahorita voy a voltear. I was going to do something and I got scared about it. And I got surprised. Así sería como la palabra busted. Okay. Ah, got you. Busted. A ver, hoy sí, creo que sí, hoy sí lo vamos a poder. Ah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. No, de todas maneras tengo que pasar por aquí. Va. No voy a ir a Basic. Va. Ay, sí, ¿verdad? Voy a quitar de acá nuestros, nuestras caritas para que en el video sí se vean todos. ¿Ok? So, this is the vocabulary. A ver, ¿quién lee la primera? Who wants to read the first one? Survey. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, no problem. Continue, continue. <laughs> Survey. Paul. Questionnaire, inquiry. Very good. Questionnaire. Questionnaire. Mm -hmm. Questionnaire. Survey, poll, inquiry. Inquiry. Uh, what do you think these words refer to? A list of questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. A form, right? A form with questions. Okay. What is the name for the poll? Poll is también una encuesta. Mm -hmm. It's uh, es una encuesta dirigida. Eh, usualmente poll se usa para, por ejemplo, eh, hacer eh, uh, rates de propaganda. Mm -hmm. No tanto de advertisement, no tanto de publicidad, más de propaganda. Politics, yeah, or... Uh, economics, um, economic um, measures that governments take or things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. What about research? What is research? Uh, investigation. Good. What is targeted sample? Do you think, I mean, do you know what is targeted sample? I'm sorry. Do you know what targeted sample is? Targeted? I don't know. Go ahead, if please, Raul. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, in a specific uh, people because target can be uh, a person. Or Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. It's a sample for specific clients or for specific customers with the same characteristics. They market that I want to touch. Okay. Random sample. 
random sample? Is uh, uh, whatever uh, a sample of whatever kind of person, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't care about the characteristics of people that you are targeting. I mean, you are not targeting your market. Just just, give, just giving the samples. Okay, just, Is that the okay. Yes, good. Mm -hmm. Now, what about focus group? Focus group. Do you know what is that? What that is? I think like similar you do uh, brainstorming with a group of person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe it's, it's similar uh, focus group in a specific uh, audience or person cause mm -hmm. about the, the, the project of the ID. Okay, okay, but focus group is when you ask people with the characteristics you need that try your product, right, that they give you a feedback about your product and you can create the environment where the product has to perform or what the product has to do and maybe you are going to have them in a certain time together and like in a meeting yeah where you are going to uh, do the research by giving the product or explaining the products and receiving the feedback um, um, at the same time or in um, and at the end of this meeting, you are going to have all the opinions together and then you can make a decision or take the um, a measurement, okay, of acceptance or intent of purchase or if it is easy to use. It depends on what is the kind of um, characteristic of your product you want to test. So um, sometimes, for example, a focus group is people with similar characteristics like um, housewife could be a focus group, but it could be uh, delimited also with other characteristics like geographical, uh, or uh, the state, the, um, if they are married or if they are single. So, so those are characteristics, similar characteristics of your target market. So that's a focus group. You focus your attention and you make or recreate the conditions to prove or to try the product, okay, with that I mean, with these kind of people, for example, I can remember when Dennis was coming to the country, they were making that a lot. Uh, they were focusing on people from offices, from different areas, for example, around the place where the restaurant was going to be, um, a, the rate of income or salary of the people uh, was another characteristic. Family groups was another kind of focus group. And they were like matching the characteristics of people with the characteristics of the product. So that's a focus group where you can try the product with people similar to you, okay, kind of. Let's talk about the unbiased, unbiased, unbiased. ¿Qué sería unbiased? What, what does it mean? Un I don't know. Biased. I never heard that, that word. <laughs> um, this is similar to impartial, okay? impartial. Um, you, don't, you don't take a side. Okay, it's not contaminated. Your opinion. neutral, 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 yes. neutral. Mm -hmm. okay. Correct. 
Okay, then we have competitive threats. Competitive threats, what is that? What idea do you have about it? ¿Qué idea le dan, Nelson? Mm, all of the competitors uh, established on the market. And when, when I want to join to the market, uh, we have a, or we take note about these competitors. Okay, good. They could become a threat for us. Right? They, could, they could become a threat because they can take different strategies because they already take a part of the market. Yeah, the one that we want to um, get in. Okay, yeah, you're right. Competitive threat. So what about, uh, tell me. I have a question. Tell that's, me. That's a word comparative threat is like similar uh, uh, benchmarking. Um, actually. It's like a comparative about your yeah, but competition. Be, yes, but when you uh, but you have different kind of co competitors. It's not only the one that threats or it's uh, or are threatening to threaten your company or your um, business ah, okay, uh, okay. path. Okay, with the benchmarking, you are just identifying identifying all your competitors and you are like putting who is the biggest or the real competitor, okay? The real competitor, porque pueden haber muchos, pero no todos son sus competidores. O sea, usted va a competir con uno que usted va a encontrar en el benchmark, okay? I get it. All right. Now, features and benefits, features and benefits. Maybe when uh, in the market, put other product, bandeo, okay. no sé cómo. No, good, good. Good. Come on, come on, Anna. Uh -huh. um, that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, features. What are the features of your product? What are the features of your products? A ver, todos, regresemos a lo primero, a lo básico. ¿Cuáles son las features? Characteristics. Features. Mm -hmm. Components of your product. Size. Function, qualities. Qualities, exactly. Mm -hmm. And also, mm, if it is a product or, I mean, an electronic product, or if it is... Mm, operated by batteries so those are features okay those are features um, if it is analog or um, i don't know whatever the characteristics of the products are those are features and what about the benefits the benefits benefits mm -hmm. the benefits when you meet the needs of your customers or of your market. Entonces, features and benefits los vamos a encontrar en el concept que nosotros le vamos a dar al cliente. Okay? Features and benefits. The description of my product. The concept of my product. Okay, that. Just give me one second. Porque se traba esto. Hoy sí. Ah, no. No, no me va a dejar igual. Va. Entonces, it's 9.05 now. We want to go to the conversation time. And we want to read a conversation where all this thing become in one or take place and they come to life. Okay. So we are going to see the vocabulary we can use to talk about the different strategies of product testing. 
Okay. And also remember that the strategies are not only two or only three strategies. Remember that you can make up and you can combine different strategies to make your own depending on your product and depending on your new idea. Okay. If you have a very good idea that it's unique in the market, in the market, no one else is offering the product or the idea that you got, then it's going to need a unique strategy too. Okay. We have to take that in mind. And fun. Let's read this conversation. Aquí tenemos a Mr. Vélez y a Mrs. Ayala. So let's go to page number 17. Page 17 in your... Manuals, student books. Sorry, let's read the instructions. Quien quiere leer las instrucciones, a ver. Say me, teacher. Me. me. Okay, please. Uh, the first one was Eulis, if I'm not wrong. ¿Quién fue que dijo primero, Eulis? No. Ay, miren, casi, casi lo identifico yo. <laughs> no, a ver, ¿quiénes me dijeron? Carlos Eduardo creo que fue que me dijo, ¿verdad? Uh, eso es okay, yeah. Eulis. Okay. A ver, ¿quiere, ¿quiere leerlo, Eulis? Yes. Carlos Eduardo le cede el lugar. Vamos. Instructions. Yes. Uh, product testing are a necessary processor to be a follower for before destiny to create a new product. The following conversation features a group of managers in a meeting to discuss strategies for testing their new product. Read the conversation. Okay, thank you very much. Carlos Eduardo, can you read it, please? The instructions. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Product testing are necessary procedures to be followed before deciding to create a new product. The following conversation featured a group of man managers in a meeting to discuss strategies for testing their new products. Read the conversation. Thank you very much. So here we've got Mr. Velez and Mr. Uh, well, we have Avila and Ayala, okay? So let's read. Good morning. I'm thrilled to announce we have green light to work on our latest product testing task. One of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The efforts these tasks requires are important to take into account, definitely. I have already written some ideas for a monadic test so we can discuss them. Take a look, good job. But have you figured out the cost? Some difficult decisions to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss, one of the most important factors in this job is managing costs. costs and I'm good at that. Okay, I will read it slower. Good morning. I'm thrilled to announce we have green light to work on our latest product testing task. One of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. Sería Ms. Ayala. The efforts this task requires are important to take into account. Definitely. 
I have already written some ideas for a monadic test. So we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job. But have you figured out the cost? Some difficult decisions to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in the job is managing costs. And I'm good at that. All right, people. We want to listen to some of you. Ana Lorena, okay. Ana Lorena. Mm -hmm. And let's see, Cristina Edith. Present. Mm -hmm. And Karen Sanchez, are you available? Karen? Karen Sanchez? Está Karen por ahí? Okay, Karen is not there. Oh, okay, there you go. Entonces, una de ustedes va a ser Miss Ayala. Vaya, vamos a ver entonces, sería Mr. Vélez, va a ser Ana Lorena, Mrs. Ayala va a ser eh, Cristina, y Mr. Ávila va a ser Karen. Okay, so let's start. Okay. Good morning. I try to announce we have green light to work on our late protesting task. One of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The effort this as requires are important to take into account. Ms. Karen? I'm gonna need test so we can just go and take a look. Good job, but have you figured out the cost? Some difficult decision to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Karen? This this job is a many cause and I am good at that. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, guys, we are going to practice this conversation. Oh, is there any questions so far about the vocabulary in the conversation first? Yes, teacher. Tell me. What is monadic? Ha, you got me. Okay, yes, I had to say this before. Monadic is one thing at a time, okay? One thing at a time and it's independent of anything. You are not comparing anything, okay? Monadic, only one thing. And monadic test, test is for example, only my product, not comparing with another product. Mm -hmm. Only my concept, not with another concept or something like that. Thank you. Okay. And right off the bat, es que me quedé pensando todavía con eso. Right off the bat es también cuando eh, se dice, por ejemplo, que usted va a batear también, ¿ok? Eso viene de ahí, de cuando usted va a batear. Entonces está listo para batear. O cómo se llama eso cuando van y se ponen en el home. ¿A quién juega béisbol aquí? ¿Quién juega? Yo jugaba soft, softball, pero en Spanish. <ríe> uh, yo diría, sí, eh, a un lado, no, sí, listo, o que entra al home. O sea, que llega listo para batear, ¿verdad? Ya llega en posición de. Al pitch. 
Yeah, no, no, no. Peach es el que está tirando la bola. Bat es el que va a eh, batear, o sea, sí. Ajá, batear. Entonces, estar listo para batear, algo así. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. <ríe> en español, yo lo diría como es mi idea salidita del comal, ¿verdad? Lista para comer. Ya. Yeah. <ríe> en nuestro salvadoreño, sin compararlo con el béisbol. Ok, bien. Vamos entonces. Is there any other question about the vocabulary? No. Entonces les puedo hacer una pregunta yo. Me ask you a question. No, no, no. Antes de ir. No, mejor no. Este no Told dice. Me. Told me. Sí, estamos bien. Ah, va, va, sí. Vamos, no fue al break of room. No, va, la pregunta es esta. Vayan ahí a la conversation, go to the conversation and notice the the uh, phrases in bold, las frases en negrita, phrases in bold. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Hey, can you share the, the screen, please? The screen. Yes, of course, no problem. Here it is. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué se referirá a eso? A ver. Pues viene un tema crucial, trascendental en la vida de todo English learner. ¿Ok? Es con lo que todos batallamos. Batallamos con eh, poner sujeto, verbo y complemento. ¿Ok? Identificar. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Identificar cuál verbo voy a usar, si, si va conjugado, obviamente, singular and plural. Eh, por ejemplo, veamos acá arriba, dice one of the good things. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? One of the good things. ¿Será the things o será things. only one in the things? Things. Things. things? No, it's only one. Ok. Por eso el verbo es is. ¿Ok? One ah. is the things. Ajá. One of the things. Dentro del grupo de las cosas hay una. Entonces, ese es mi sujeto. One of the things. Bien. Vamos a ver. The efforts. This is easy. The efforts. Is it singular or is it plural? Plural. 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 So, I'm plural. going to use... Plural. Plural form, okay. What about some difficult decisions? Plural. Plural? Plural. What? Yes. Yes. Plural. 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 What, what is the subject here? Decisions. Decisions, okay. Pero tiene un adjetivo calificativo. No es cualquier decision, ¿verdad? No son todas las decisions. Son difficult, Algunas. pero no todas las difficult. Only some of them. ¿Vemos? Entonces, para poder armar nuestro sujeto, también tenemos que ir haciendo nuestro screaming para skimming para llegar a cuál realmente es mi sujeto, ¿verdad? Y luego, pues, ver si me queda en plural. Tengo que usar plural form, ¿ok? Uh, right conjugation of the verb. Veamos la última. What's the subject? It's singular. Is it singular? Why? No. Because it's singular? one. It's only, only one. 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 A factor is the important factors. Important factors. Ajá, entonces, a ver, los que dicen por singular, ¿por qué? Y los que dicen en plural, ¿por qué? Wait, the verb is, is. Ok, ya, yeah. that's the hint, that's mm. the hint, porque ya está dado el verbo. Y si yo tengo que armar la oración, I mean, I mean uh, y si yo tengo que armarla, voy a definir, ¿será uno o serán muchos? ¿O serán más de uno? 
Ajá. with the most singular. Ah, yeah. Good hint. Ajá. Pero desde aquí del principio me dicen one. One of the most. Ajá. Pero one qué? Factor. Ok. One qué? Factor. Pero tengo que definir what entre todos los factors es mi sujeto, ¿verdad? One. The most important. Ah, entonces existen muchos factores, pero no todos son importantes y no todos son los más importantes. Ok, so here we are defining which is our subject. So one of the most important factors. Ah, pero no es este el sujeto, es este one. Ok, is. Si fuera the most important factors, ah, entonces serían todos los más importantes. Ahí sí voy a usar plural, si no me refiero solo a uno. ¿Y cuál es ese one? ¿Cuál es? Managing costs. ¿Ok? Ese es el factor importante del que vamos a hablar. Managing costs. ¿Ok? Y aquí arriba, ¿cuál es la, una de las cosas buenas? Before. The effort you the made. Effort. The effort, the you, effort made you made to do your job well. Ese es la buen, lo bueno, ¿verdad? De que estamos hablando. Ok, bien. Vamos a ver entonces. Vámonos a practicar la conversación. Mm -hmm. Ay, espero que no se me deshagan estos grupos bajo si ya lo tengo. Practice the conversation. Please join your groups. Eh, I am Mr. Ayala and Mr. Vélez, y después intercambiamos. Okay. Inicio, sir. You start. Okay, you start. Eh, you, Mr. Vélez, uh -huh. and me, Mr. Ayala, and Mr. Avila. Okay, good morning. I'm three minutes to a noise. 
we have a green light to work in our work. Last the product testing task. One of the good things I like about working with Dual is the if if for what you make do you to job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The for this that requires are important to take into account. Definitely. I have already written some ideas for a mon monadic test so we can discuss them. That a look. Good job, but I have a feature of the cast. Some difficult decisions to make refer to fancy material in cost versus quality. Yes, yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is manage, managing costs, and I am good at that. <laughs> Cambiamos. Yes, change the role. Okay. Good morning. I am thrilled. Uh, I am thrilled to announce we have Well, <laughs> I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The efforts your task requires are important to take in account. Finally, I have already written some ideas for a money monadis test, so we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job, but we have to figure out the cost. Some, some difficult. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Some difficult yes, decisions. Yes. Some difficult decisions to make reference to fancy materials and cost versus quality. <laughs> yes, boss. One of the most important factors in the job is managing cost. And I'm good at that. Definitely, I have yes. already writing, no, written some ideas for a uh, monadic task, so we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job, but I but have you figured out the cost? Some difficult decisions Sorry. to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Ah, sir. <laughs> Salud. Yes, boss. Gracias. Cheers. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is managing costs. I'm in. I'm good at that. Oh, yes. okay, man. I'm saying you. <laughs> uh -huh. Teacher, <laughs> we find a mistake. Okay, tell me which one. Uh, the third paragraph. Yeah. Uh, uh, he say, Mr. Ayala, and uh, is she? Yes, yes, that is, I, I told that uh, before, but yes, it's correct. It's Mrs. Ayala. Mm -hmm. You told that? 
Yes, I said it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I was pro. On it first, yeah. No, pero sí, es, es cierto. Eh, por eso les decía, debiera ser, les digo, mes. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, sí, al principio lo dijo, ya me acordé. Yeah. Okay, yeah, got you. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> ya me la desquité okay. yo fácil. <laughs> uh, teacher, yeah. I can understand uh, the word monadic. Monadic. Monadic es un tipo de examen o de test o de prueba, ¿verdad? Eh, monadic, lo único que significa es que es uno. Proviene de eso, de mono, ¿verdad? Mono. De mono. Uno. Uh -huh. no. Mono, pero no de monkey, ¿verdad? Mono de uno. Ajá. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> singular. Uh -huh. Yeah, singular, uh -huh. only one. Yeah. Monadic uh -huh. means that there is no comparison. It's only the thing by itself. Maybe by its function, but it's by its features. You're testing uh, the concept, only one concept. Yeah. But there are other kind. Uh, por esto digo que existen estrategias de probar el producto incluso creadas por nosotros mismos dependiendo de cómo es uh -huh. nuestro producto entonces monadic también pueden haber combinados verdad porque puede tener uh -huh. eh, monadic con diferentes conceptos consecutivos pero solamente de un producto verdad o sea estoy tengo bastantes conceptos pero quiero decidirme por uno entonces Siempre es monadic, pero tengo otros factores, porque solo es un producto el que estoy evaluando. Eh, aunque sean diferentes conceptos, ¿verdad? O sea, tiene muchas concepciones y acepciones, pero monadic, uh -huh. one thing, un objeto de estudio. Yeah. Uh -huh. Solo se enfoca en esto, en uno. Exactly. Uh -huh. En cómo okay, funciona okay. esto, no cómo funciona esto en comparación de otra cosa. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, mm -hmm. ok. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Ok. Ah, ok. Continue, Good guys. Continue. And, ok. Good morning. I'm trying to announce we have green light to Thrilled. work. On... Thrilled. Thrilled. Uh -huh. Thrilled. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Good morning. I'm trailed to announce we have green light to work on our lat latest product testing latest. task. Latest. 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 Okay. Thank you. One of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you made to do the job well. With you all. With you all. With you all. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You también. Eh. I, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. I agree with you. We need a, a comma in this part. With you all, comma is the effort. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. I agree with you, Mr. Serna. The effort this task requires are important to make into account. <clears throat> Definitely. I have already written some ideas for a monadic test. So we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job. But I have figured figure figured out the cost. Some difficult decisions to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is managing costs. And I'm good at that. Great, guys. Okay. I think we may go to the main room. Let's go back.
Okay, dear class. Vamos a pasar al pair work, okay? We are going to um, answer the questions we've got there, but we want to discuss them. I don't just I don't want just to have an answer, but a discussion between yourself, okay? So I'm going to mute myself and you are going to do this pair work all together. This is not going to be only pair work. This is going to be a team up, okay? A team work. So let's read the first one. Let's read the first one. It says, um, just one second, let me go there because I moved out. Okay, here it is. So here we've got, what product testing strategies mentioned in the conversation? What specific concern does Mr. Velas have about the product? What is Mr. Avila in charge of? Bien, yo me voy a poner en mute and you are going to answer the questions by giving a discussion, okay? Having a discussion. So you may start now. Take your own initiative, initiative, okay? Uh, he mentioned a uh, monadic test. Yeah, only mentioned that monadic test. Um, yeah, uh, yeah that. Yes, and they say that don't have money for this uh, test. Yeah, it's true. We, he mentioned that to reduce cost uh, with the material. Fancy material in cost and versus quality. quality. Mm -hmm. Some difficult decision to make for, but in that part he, he's not uh, rejecting the idea. Only say is and uh, figure out the um, and um, how can I say that? Thinking that idea, uh, take a lot of factors. What? What a specific concern? What a specific concern? Mm -hmm. Yeah, material cost. Material in quality? quality? Material and, cost and quality, quality. Cost. Mm -hmm. quality about the product. And the last one, what is Mr. Avila in search of? And the last part. He, he said, said that maybe he is good for managing the cost. In managing the cost. Mm -hmm. One of the one. most important things that is managing the cost. But mm -hmm. also he said that he is good for that. Say to Mr. Vélez. Say Mr. Avila to Mr. Vélez. I think he's charge in charge of reduce the cost. Object verb Mr. complement. Mr. Avila is in charge of the budget. Of the product or the project the project 
Mr. Alex. Who's in charge of the managing costs? The cost. Okay, people, mm -hmm. after this uh, very nurtured uh, discussion, yes, we could say that they are talking about a monadic test running, okay? And they are worried about um, testing the kind of materials they are using and the costs of production versus the quality of the product. Okay, maybe he's concerned about the quality. Okay, we don't know in which way. We don't know if it was a really a high cost of production or if it was a low cost of production versus quality, okay? If it is bad quality, if it is high quality, okay? Remember that this is a direct proportion relation, okay? Uh, because you have good products with a low cost of production and you have bad products with a high cost of production. So we don't know what they are talking about here. So they have to run the monadic test to confirm if they are in the right path, if they are going in the right direction with the production, the costs, the materials they have used, and also mm, the quality or likely the features to, uh, or of this product to uh, develop a performance, okay, or to meet the needs of the market. Ok, da. bien, vamos a ver entonces, nos vamos a ir directo a la página, mm, vamos a dejar un ratito la gramática y nos vamos a ir al vocabulary que tenemos, creo que es la página 19, page 19, oops. On page 19. Here we've got some building vocabulary and we want to see the strategies. Strategies of product testing. Let's read this ones. Site and handling test. ¿Qué decíamos que era esto? What is this? Vamos a ver. What is the use test? What is the branded test? What is the blind test? What is the monadic method? What is the sequential monadic method? Ah, esta es una de las que hablaba ahorita con un grupo, ¿ok? Ahí ya lo van a hallar bien rápido ellos. Les van en ventaja, pero no se preocupen que ustedes lo van a hallar rápido también. Pair comparison test. Paired comparisons test. Vamos a irnos a los breakout room de regreso y lo vamos a hacer rapidito porque esto ya lo hablamos. Toda la clase hemos estado hablando de esto. Así que vamos a ir a leer, to read. Y vamos a hacer el match, ¿ok? Vamos a tratar de no utilizar translators. Por favor, prohibido usar traductores. Vamos a leer y vamos a encontrar keywords, 
palabras claves que nos den una asociación con estos conceptos, ¿sí? ¿Correcto? ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Yo soy tú. Thank you very much. Ok, let's go then to the break of rooms. Yo creo que con los mismos estamos bien, ¿verdad? O lo hacemos con más. Take care. Tell me, Blanca. Um, the apps close. Oh. Okay, no problem. I will assign you to another group, okay? Okay, thank you. There you go. Hi guys, who can share the screen? Hello. Hello, can you share your screen? Hello, people. How are you doing here? I shared the exercise in the chat. So go ahead and look it up in the chat. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye. No sé si se ve. Uh... He quedado una forma aquí. No se lo puedo quitar. Ok. What other? Estas cosas me ayudan a enseñar a cambiar el problema. No me 
Maybe the last is the three product artists and branded. So the consumer focuses strictly on the product characteristic and not of the brand name. Tal vez para identificar las marcas. I'm sorry, Anna, what number did you say? Maybe the number three in the last uh, description. Okay. The last one. Mm -hmm. okay. Last one, number, number three. Three. Uh -huh. For me, it's num maybe uh, number three. For me, know. also. Ana. Hola. Y... Ah, no, ah, no, era, sí, esa. Ajá. Sí, estaba viendo la número uno, no va con la uno. Ah. Uh -huh. Número uno. No entendí. Sion uh -huh. Handling, One me, Product. Me abrume este volado, sorry. <laughs> okay. Qué cositas que ya no las puedo borrar. No problem. The one, two. Match number one. With which? Consumer use. Consumer use. Or mm. sign handling. With this? Up. The products are ready. The consumer does not rate both products against each other. Consumer. 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 Mm -hmm. Ah, the first consumers. <coughs> Maybe the second. Or site and handle one product. Ah, no. Then another, and you are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. No, oh, because it's, it's a, a two. Maybe it's a comparison. Because say yes. they use a product, a product, uh, one product, sign it, handle it, and rate it late, later. <laughs> what do you mean? The second for the, second. the number five. For me, the second five is the three, the brain test, because you use another product and bought products against its other. The second the five you... definition, number five. The brain yes. test is, is brain five. test. The brain test is about the, the brain. Ah, blind. And the product. Blind is. It's the comparative to product. Mm, blind, ciego. O a ciegas. No, the, la número tres dice. Ah, brand. Test. Mm -hmm. Es un test de, 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 ¿cómo se llama? De, de las marcas. marcas. Ajá. Sí, ella, ella dice que es la quinta. Tiene sentido. Consumers use a product, site, site, and handle it. Lo evalúa. They rate. Usa otro. They use sign and handle another product and rate. Lo evalúa. The consumer sí. does not rate both products against each other. Ah, está evaluando marcas. No está diciendo cuál es el mejor. Ah. Uh, No tiene el sentido secuencia. para mí. Ese no sé qué es el secuencia. I would think uh, he is that a secuencia. <laughs> For me. But if you want, can you, can you put the tree the here? Trying this test better. Aware Andale. of the brand they are trying. 
This test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. Será ese. That el, sounds el, better. El valor de la marca. The mm -hmm. three customer the three. are aware uh -huh. of the brand. Yeah. They are trying. This test better reflects the yeah. real world. I don't know. One. Experience. And the value of the brand. Yeah, that is the number three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe the the uh, I don't know how to say. It. Uh, the set the last uh, maybe is the <laughs> the first the okay, cost comparison test the sequential yeah, because uh -huh. the sequential monadic method maybe is the below the number three customer use a product sign it and handle it and they write it, then they use is sequential. Sorry, sorry. It's uh, a series of of uh, the six is what? Sequential the, number six is the five definition. Yeah, is definition it, number five. Yeah, yeah, customer use a product. Si sí, es uh, una, una secuencia de pasos. Ah, es como secuencial eso, de que usa el producto y, y haces y algo, que lo vas, 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 y vas, 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 otra vez, repetís otra vez. esto con otro y así es un cabal. Bueno, eh, y la última. For the They use a product, a product, only one. Side, side, handle, handle it. And write right letter. Yeah. It's, it's a number five because mm -hmm. it's only one, one product. product. Yeah, we did it. Take a photo. <laughs> Take a photo. Take a photo. Okay. Okay, done, teacher. Very good. Very good. Yeah. It seems like mine too, okay? Okay. Yeah, so let's go back. It's time, I mean, time is up. Okay. Okay, I think Rafael Nelson, you may share the you may share your picture, okay? <laughs> because you say take a photo, so please <laughs> share your picture. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, dear class. If we think about the strategies of the product testing, we see that there are seven here in this list. They are not only seven. They are, these list have, has only seven. But let's see, sight and handling test goes with this test is a good option when there are significant tactile, tactile or visual elements of the product uh, for consumers to experience. Remember, experience is the key word here. Use test, use test. Uh, this is when the consumer uh, take the product and they use it in the real condition. So yes, um, 
let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number branded test. Number um this one. Huh? Uh number three. Number three. Who wants to talk about the number three? And we are leaving. Uh number three. Consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. This 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 test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. So we are uh, evaluating the positioning of the brand. Okay. What about the blind test? Products are test and branded, so the customer focuses strictly on the product characteristic and not on the brand name. Yeah, so you don't say this is a dog, this is Lee Shoes, this is MD. No, you just give the shoes. Okay, there you go. So now, monadic method. Consumers use the product in real circumstance. They are used, they use a product size and size it and handle it and read it later. Read it later. Mm, okay. What about the sequential monadic method? Customer use a product seen, sight, sight. sight it and handle it. They read it, then they use Sign handling another product and rate it. The customer doesn't uh, rate both products against each other. One at a time, okay? One product and another product and another product, but it's not comparing. Okay, there you go. Number seven. Customer use or sign and the handle of the product then another and one us to indicate which one, which of the two they prefer. They prefer, okay. They are making a comparison. Thank you very much guys for uh, sharing your image. Thank you. Okay, I hope then that this is understood and um, we have no uh, homework for today, but you may, continue studying the vocabulary. Tomorrow we are going to see the verb agreement with the subject, or subject verb agreement. And we are going to continue with the thing about product testing, all the units. So uh, we have to understand these vocabulary. Uh, uh, we could say, we have to build the vocabulary correctly. Okay, people. So thank you very much for your attention. So now we are going to call the roll. Remember to say present and turn your camera on. Today is Monday the 27th. Okay. We are in March. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. Present. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Present. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Present. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Present. Okay. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. Glenda Josefina Toledo. Okay, Blanca. Thank you. Yes. Eh, Glenda Josefina Toledo. Present. Okay. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here. Okay. Josman Atilio Serrano. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Nancy Margarita Morán Morán. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Here. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Thank you, Raúl Ernesto González. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. José Miguel Torres Hernández. Okay, people, so time is up and let us meet tomorrow at 8 p.m. And the session one-on-one -on -one for today is for Carlos Francisco, but he's not here. So we are going to say for Cristina Edith. 
Okay, Cristina, Eddie, do you want to stay? Uh, teacher, I am. Oh, usted se quedó, usted right. se quedó la vez pasada. Okay, Edwin Antonio, do you want yes, to stay? Teacher. Okay, then. Okay, everyone, have a very good night. Have a very good rest. See have you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Hi, Mr. Edwin. How are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, Jack. Great, great. Okay, is there any questions so far that I can assist you with? So, so far, I don't have any questions. Okay. Uh, what about the uh, homework? How's it going? ¿Cómo le ha ido con las tareas? Um, sometimes it's difficult because I don't know the vocabulary, but uh, the another time uh, that's so easy. All right, very good, very good. So allow me to see you right on the platform, your performance. Just give me one second. I will see your progress. Uh, let's look at this. I only work in the unit one. Yes, of course, of course, no problem, because unit one is uh, the one we have studied yet, okay, we studied already, so let's look at, okay, Mr. Edwin, a ver, si gusta entonces vamos a, eh, la primera, si quiere, sí, podemos revisar la primera porque le veo que eh, no hemos sacado el 100 todavía en las tareas. Vamos a ver cuál le falta. Yes, uh, I think it's the third. The third activity. one. Okay. Yes. Vamos a ver. Okay. I want to share my screen with you. Okay, estamos hablando en la uno, estuvo todo bien? Like, uh, choose the name of the steps in the process of development, I'm sorry, of developing a new product. Were we okay? Okay. Esta estaba un poco más fácil porque era vocabulary, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí la completamos. Vaya, vamos a ver. Number two was uh, about the present perfect. And we said the third person used has. In, uh, independent on not or affirmative. Negative or affirmative. Okay. And it goes to the beginning when we ask a question. Have. Leave the contraction. And remember that it is with the past participle. Okay. Have you been to Japan? We have never eaten Mexican food. Los adverbs of frequency van después del verbo have, ¿verdad? Nunca van antes del verbo have, van después. Después de otro verbo, sí. Que no sea ni el be ni el have, van a ir antes. Pero en el have y en el is van a ir before. Eh, van a ir eh, después de ellos, ¿ok? ¿Aquí estábamos bien? Sí, ¿verdad, Edwin? Yes. Ok. Vamos a ver en esta. Uh -huh. The reduction. Uh -huh. yes. En la reducción, lo que vamos a hacer es que todo lo que vaya después del de adverbio de tiempo... ¿Verdad? Estamos hablando que hay un sujeto y que hay un verbo. No importa el tiempo verbal en que esté ese verbo, siempre se va a convertir en un ing. ¿Verdad? Entonces, vamos a poner after, eliminamos el sujeto y este lo pasamos a ing. Sang es el pasado de cantar. Entonces, le vamos a agregar a sing el ing y tenemos... After singing two songs, 
they performers did a dance. Mm -hmm. Y acordémonos del punto final, porque si no, no nos lo agarra, ¿verdad? Es el punto final y siempre el inicio. Y ahorita cree que puede entrar para que lo hagamos. So, uh, I think. Uh -huh. Easy, don't worry, Edwin, easy. Mm -hmm. Access to the platform, go to the 1.5 homework. I don't know if it is possible for you to share it. No, I don't find the course right now. Con tranquilidad, búsquelo para que lo dejemos hecho, así va a tener el cien. Y vamos a comprender esto, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Vaya, en la primera, ¿le salió buena o le salió mala? ¿Cómo le salió la primera? Mala. Mala. Entonces, ahí vamos a eliminar el sujeto y le vamos a poner ING al verbo sing, ¿verdad? Para que diga después de cantar, after singing. Yes. Uh -huh. After singing to song. Exactly. Uh -huh. Y ya le pone todo lo demás, ¿verdad? Porque ya lo demás no sufre ningún cambio. Donde va a sufrir el cambio o la reducción es en la frase adverbial o en la cláusula adverbial, ¿verdad? Donde hay un adverbio, un sujeto y un verbo. Ok. Vaya, vamos al number two. Before... He answered the phone. He grabbed a pencil and notepad. Vamos a ver. Tenemos que esta es la, la frase adverbial. Tenemos before mm -hmm. es el adverbio. He answering the phone. Subject. Exactly. Answered sería el verbo en pasado. Igual no importa que esté en pasado. Le vamos a poner el ing al verbo answer. ¿Verdad? Okay. Before answering the phone, he grabbed a pencil and notepad. Y acordémonos de ponerle el punto. Empezar con mayúscula y ponerle el punto. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Vamos a ver con la number three. Acá tenemos... While I was away in college, 
Ah, entonces la frase adverbial, la cláusula adverbial es toda esta que está antes de la coma, ¿verdad? Tenemos el while, que es el adverbio, el subject, I, y tenemos was. Ah, esa es una forma de be. Y según las condiciones para reducirlo, cuando es cualquier sí. forma del be, lo quitamos, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a quitar el sujeto, vamos a quitar el be, y nos va a quedar while away. While away, así. While away in college. Mm -hmm. The next one. Ajá, I stayed with my roommate's family during one spring break. Hay que ponerla completa. ¿Vamos bien? Yes. Ok. Vamos entonces, number four. When she is working at home, Carla takes her youngest child to school in the morning. Este she es la misma que Carla, entonces sí lo podemos reducir, ¿verdad? Le vamos a yes. quitar el sujeto y le vamos a quitar el be. Y nos queda when working at home, y todo lo demás. ¿Vamos bien con la número cuatro, Edwin? Yes. Bye. Number five. Although he was hurt, Jack managed to smile. Mm -hmm. Although, aunque estaba lastimado, ¿verdad? O herido. Le quitamos el sujeto, le quitamos el be y nos quedaría although hurt. Although hurt. Jack managed to smile. Ahora sí le dio cabal. Yes, sorry. ¿Le salió alguna mala todavía? Yes, but it's... El punto o la. Sorry. O la... Uh -huh. No, all is okay. All is okay. Great, great. Y ahora sí ya nos tiene que salir completo, ¿verdad? Usted ahí. ¿En esta no tuvo problema? No. Great. Y en la última, ¿verdad? ¿Qué era esta? ¿Problems no. with this? No. Ok, that. Very good.
There you go. Yes, yes. We did it, Edwin. I like that too. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Ahora sí ya le quedó más claro cómo era eso de la reducción de eh, la cláusula adverbial. To reduce yes, the adverbial clause. Okay. Yes. Okay, then. Is there anything else you want some assistance? Not for me. Okay. Okay, then. Uh, I think we finished, right? Have a very good night, Edwin. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you. See you.